Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's session, Discover the Treasures of the Flipgrid Discovery Library. My name is Jornay Armand. I am Head of Educator Innovation at Flipgrid, and I'm based in New Orleans, Louisiana. If you didn't know, Flipgrid is actually based in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Um, so just to give you a little background about myself, I started off my career in education as a second grade teacher, um, became an administrator, found my love with instructional coaching, started working for the Alabama State Department of Education, and was presenting all over the place. And um, that's where I found my love of using Flipgrid, not only for me to share with educators a, a beautiful tool to use in their classrooms, but also for professional development purposes as well. And our mission at Flipgrid is our community's mission to empower every learner on the planet to share their voice and to respect the diverse voices of others. So today's goals um, that we have for our session is to number one, um, at the end of this session, you should be able to explain and use the features of the Discovery Library. You should be able to engage with learners um, to use these ready to launch content um, topics by adding these topics to your class discussions. And finally, you will be able to engage your colleagues in collaborative planning by curating and sharing resources. So I always say, if you can think it, you can flip grid it. There's a million different ways plus of uh, utilizing Flipgrid. So this is just um, a list that we've put together anywhere from icebreakers to having young students focus on fluency and phonics, or maybe having your um, professional uh, learning communities learn and grow together using Flipgrid, having your virtual art shows on Flipgrid or inviting guest speakers into the classroom or even outside of the school environment. We've seen educators use um, Flipgrid for other things that they are a part of, such as Cub Scouts or even planning um, other types of public outreach. So anyone can use Flipgrid. It's a tool that's 100% free. So our first gem, the features of the Discovery Library. Now, we have almost 35,000 topics in the Flipgrid Discovery Library. You can easily search either by subject, by audience, or even by keyword. We've even pulled in for you every single day a special topic of the day and a wonder of the day. The topic of the day are topics that are um, really insightful and really will bring your students uh, creativity and critical thinking to life. We've seen educators use this as a beginning of the day thinking prompt or maybe as a wrap up for the end of the day. And even the wonder of the day from our friends at Wonderopolis has high um, interest articles for students to, to learn from and grow with every single day. We've even pulled out trending topics. So these are going to be your topics that are um, either very aligned to the current calendar. It could be hot topics and trending um, ideas that's also going on, or things that educators are just talking about at the moment in time. These trending topics are curated by our team. Um, so they are always fresh and ready to go for you and your scholars. And then just for me. Now, this section is based all um, within your educator profile. So make sure when you sign up for your Flipgrid account, or if you already have a Flipgrid account, to go ahead in the top right-hand corner of your Flipgrid screen, and you can make sure that you've selected your grades and your subject areas so that the Just For Me section can be built for you. So for example, if you are a math teacher, you might see topics like Math In My World or Fraction Flip Grid. Or if you are a STEM educator, you might see topics about Hour of Code and Robotics. And if you are a language arts teacher, you might see um, topics centered around read alouds and high frequency words words and writing activities. We also have a section all about our partners. Now, our partners are wonderful organizations who have made a commitment to making their content um, inside of Flipgrid free for educators to use. 
So we have almost 50 partners that you can explore from ADL Education to Wonderopolis. If you're a music educator, Whirly, we have our um, wonderful friends at Lego Education and Find Your Grind and the Children's Theater and Discovery Ed. So there's something there for every educator. In addition to that, you'll also see featured collections. Now these collections are curated by our educator innovation lead team. And these are going to be very important um, topics um, that educators can use at any point in time. So for example, if you're looking for ideas about family engagement, we have a collection just for you. If you are looking for conversation starters to really get your students going with Flipgrid or have um, really neat ideas to really learn um, from one another, you can go to that conversation starter collection and you'll see many, many topics that go along with that. Um, we also curate collections centered around certain times of the year. So for example, for Black History Month, we have a wealth of topics uh, created by educators as well as our partners for you to explore. And then for the challenging conversations um, that really need to happen, we have conversations about race, equity, and justice with really high interest um, topics to get people really out of their comfort zones and talking about the things that matter most for our growth um, and, and respect within our world. All right, and then wrapping us up with um, the features of Discovery Library is the inspiring creators. Now, these are educators who have uh, 20 plus incredible topics inside of the Flipgrid Discovery Library for you to enjoy. So if you love one topic from one of these inspiring creators, chances are you'll love so many more. And we invite you to also be an inspiring creator. So um, I'll take you through the journey of how to create your topics in just a moment. But um, once you have at least 20 topics, you can also become an inspiring creator. So let's see what that looks like in the Flipgrid platform. So when you log into flipgrid.com, on the top right hand corner is your educator login. So we're gonna take a moment, we're gonna log in to our account. And once we are inside of our account, what you're going to see is the dashboard. Now the dashboard is where you're going to do everything inside of Flipgrid. And at the very top, you will see you have a discussion tab, and this is where you are creating your own topics for your classrooms, but you also have this amazing discovery tab. So let's pop on over to this discovery tab. Um, and now what you'll see inside of the discovery tab is exactly what I just went over, but inside of the platform. So at first, you're, you're going to see that you can search for topics at the very top. You have a section that has some featured partners and you have, here's the, the topic of the day, as well as the wonder of the day that we were just speaking about. So let's say I want to use this topic of the day, exploring MLK and civil rights. You see that the topic is on the left-hand side and every topic has the Microsoft Immersive Reader built right in. Any resource that either the partner or the educator who created the topic wants to share is also available to you and your scholars, which is phenomenal. So if you want to use this topic with your scholars, on the right hand side is a little bit more information about the topic for your sake as an educator. So not only will you see who the creator is and the intended audience and subject area, but you'll be able to see some other data. So we can see that this topic has been used 495 times by educators around the world and um, it has sparked one week engagement. So if you think about that, um, 24 hours for seven days out of the week, students have been talking about this incredible topic. And there's two things that you can do. You can add that topic to your class discussion or save it to your collection. So that's that topic of the day. And here's that wonder of the day that we mentioned before. And here is the Wonderopolis article. So once you're, you are inside of the Flipgrid Discovery Library and want to use that wonder of the day, um, you can click inside of the wonder of the day. And what you'll see is a 
wonderful article article that has um, embedded supports for your students, such as vocabulary supports and other reading supports, comprehension supports. Um, and it all is based upon standards. Um, who does not love anything that's based um, on standards for our students? So those are those two that we mentioned. Here are our incredible partners um, that's growing every single week. Um, as I mentioned before, we have uh, 50 plus partners. So you can check out any of the partner content. For example, if we go inside of ADL Education, not only will you see all of their topics, that, but they also have specific collections of topics. So you can go inside of a uh, group um, which is a collection and see all of the topics within the collection that the partner has created as well. And as we continue down inside of the Flipgrid Discovery Library, here is where you'll see those trending topics. Um, those are the topics that are created by um, educators and partners, but are cur curated by our team at Flipgrid. So lots of incredible topics. Um, we have Polar Bear, Bear International Day, and we celebrate diversity of cultures, the importance of taking a break, um, really going through what does anti-racism really mean and about diversity. So lots of important and trending topics there for your scholars. And once again, here's that Just For Me section. So um, just make sure that when you sign up for Flipgrid that you, um, Go ahead and put in your subject and audience, and these topics will be uh, filtered for you every single day. And here's our wonderful collections, as we mentioned. Um, so when you click inside of a collection, let's say, for example, we want to click inside of our computer science and coding collection, here's a list of resources that can be used for this area, okay? And everything is free and accessible to you as the educator. And at the very bottom, rounding out these awesome features are our inspiring creators. So for example, if you're looking for incredible topics, here's our friend, Stacey Young. She has created some topics to just stay connected with students. You see, she has a series of topics. So if I wanted to use that topic, I can go ahead and click inside. And once again, I have those options to save to a collection or to add a topic. So let's go back to the other gems inside of the Flipgrid Discovery Library. So our next gem that we're going to speak about is our wonderful, wonderful, wonderful um, quick and easy way to add topics to our class discussions inside of Flipgrid. So once you click on a topic, as I showed before, that you always have two options to either save to a collection or to add to a topic. Now, a collection is just a, um, a think of it of, as a folder or um, a space that you want to be able to add in topics, but you're not quite ready to use them yet with your students. You may want to use them at another point in time. It's perfect for planning purposes. You can create as many collections as you wish and you get to name those collections. Or if you're ready to add those to your class discussions, you can do that as well by clicking add topic and you have two choices. You can either add it as an individual topic or you can add it to a group. So let's check out what that looks like inside of our platform. All right, so let's go back to Stacy's topic, Stay Connected Joke. All right, so I can either save to a collection, and as you see, I have a drop down. Now, these are top topics um, or collection names that I've already created. So if I wanted to maybe add this to one of my collections that I already have, let's say um, this one is really 
um, kind of like a trending topic. Uh, many schools are a way of with virtual learning or have a hybrid learning environment. So this could be a really great trending topic. So I can add that to my collection of trending topics. Or let's say that's a great one to build classroom community. I can add that to my build classroom community topic. Um, if I don't have a collection set up already, all I need to do is click add new collection at the bottom, give that collection a name, and I'm going to call this one joke of the week. This is when it's all about jokes. I'm going to press the enter key. And now I have a new collection called joke of the week. All right. So let's say, for instance, I want to start building out maybe my lesson for next week. So I can start a new collection and I can call this one lesson plans for, um, I'll just say March, for the month of March. And I'm going to click enter. Here is my lesson plans collection ready to go. So let's think about some other things that I may want to share. I'm gonna go back to my Flipgrid Discovery Library. And let's say um, for the month of March, I might um, learn about gravity. So here's a topic all about gravity. I can go ahead and save it to that collection that I titled Lesson Plans March. And now it's inside of that collection. Um, let's go to another topic. We have lots and lots of in incredible topics. Here's one um, about music and the civil rights. What an interesting topic. So I can go ahead once again, save it to a collection, put it inside of my lesson planning collection. And I'll add a couple more. Here's one about um, tectonic plates. So I'll add that one here. And we'll add one more about Roberto Clemente, who's an amazing baseball player. All right, so now that I have all of my topics inside of that wonderful collection, you'll notice at the very top, there is my library. This is where you're going to see all of the collections that you have created, as well as any topics that you may have submitted. So here is that, um, collection that we created called Lesson Plans for March. Here are the topics that are inside of that collection. So whenever I'm ready to uh, use these topics, I know exactly where to go and where to find them. And what's really neat is that you can share these with your colleagues. So you can click the share button and you can copy the URL and that URL will go straight to the collection that you created. How incredible is that? All right, so we're going to go back into our slide deck because I have another gem to talk about. Um, so just as we were sharing about the collections and how easy it is to add topics to a collection to share, you can also share individual topics with others. So for example, we're going to go back into our discovery library. And let's say I want to share a topic from one of the incredible partners. So I'm going to click inside ADL Education. Here is a, um, a topic about equalities call and voting rights. If I just want to share this topic, I can click share topic on the top right hand corner of that topic and ret retrieve the URL that will go straight to that topic. So if you also want to engage um, your educator friends on social media and checking out some of these incredible topics in Discovery Library, we encourage you to do so. You can share straight to Facebook or post right on Twitter to get the conversation going within your own communities. And I have such a special surprise. Our wonderful author and speaker um, has a topic ready for you inside of the Discovery Library. So we thank Candlewick Pratt 
Press, as well as Peter Reynolds, who is the author of The Dot. Um, and they have an incredible topic um, for International Dot Day. But this, this book can be used at any given point in time to really explore the uniqueness of students and how their wonderful and brilliant ideas can come from any place and anywhere. And so um, check that out inside of the Discovery Library. And there's a couple different ways you can search for this. So remember, you can search by creator, Candlewick Press. You can search by keywords. So let's check that out. We'll go back to the Discovery Library. And we're going to go um, to our partners. Here's Candlewick Press. And you'll see all of the great topics by Candlewick Press. I can tell here are a couple different uh, topics by our friend Peter Reynolds um, that you can utilize. Um, in addition to the one that we showed, look how incredible uh, these resources are. So definitely take a moment to check that out. Remember, you can always save it to a collection. I'm going to add that one to my lesson plan collection. Or remember, you can either add it as an individual topic or as or to one of your groups. So if I create this as an individual topic, I get the, the topic template so I can do with it what I wish. If I want to put in specific inspiration for my students, I can add information here. All right. Um, I can take out information right here. I'll put I would love to see your artwork. Okay, so you can make this your own. And once you are done. Um, with creating exactly how you want this to be. I'm just going to add in a domain for access. I'm going to update the topic. And now it is ready to go for me to share with my scholars. And you just share just like you would share any other Flipgrid topic with them with the join code. Um, and once they have that join code, they can share their beautiful voices. All right. Well, now that we've gone through all of the wonderful treasures of the Discovery Library, I want to make sure that you know that even though this session might be ending, that you always have a resource available to you for help. So if you go to help.flipgrid.com, you'll be able to type in anything you need assistance with when it comes to the Flipgrid Discovery Library and beyond. All right. And so for this session today, we want to make sure that you earn your credit. OK, so go ahead and log into education.microsoft.com. Click your profile and select redeem achievement code. Type in this code T-J-A-A-B-E-7321 to receive your credit. All right. Um, and I just want to thank you um, for all you do to support students and um, meeting their goals and really bringing the possibilities not only to them, but also to our world. So continue to love, grow and inspire as well as empower every voice. Bye for now.